Backing a Kickstarter project always has its risks, but I'm thankful that I managed to receive the Hyperjuice by Sandal Corporation a couple of days ago. And they were supposed to ship this to me by January this year, but unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic outbreak, they have to halt their production line and hence shipment is delayed. Until today, there are several backers that still haven't got their rewards and the company is definitely trying their best to update backers through the Kickstarter blog post every week and I think that's a really great job done by the company and it shows their commitment to deliver great products to customers. They are not paying me for this. I personally backed this for about 69 US dollars and this will go on sale for 99 US dollars when it hits retail channels. Now back to this one. The Hyperjuice is the world's first 100 watt GAN USB-C charger. GAN means gallium nitride. It is a new charging technology that enables a small size form factor to output high wattage. Now, what I'm really excited about this is because it has two USB-C PD ports with each of them supporting up to 100 watts and two USB-A ports that supports quick charging. So this is actually a really interesting charger and it's as small as a credit card size. So I'm actually curious to find out what's inside the package and we're gonna do it right now. All right, let's get started by pulling out the first content out of the box. And here we go. This is the video star of today, the Hyperjuice charging brick. And there's the Hyperjuice branding on the front and on the back here. Now, if you look at the size of it, it measures barely up to my palm and it is similarly sized as a credit or rewards card. Now, if you put it aside and check out the thickness, it is not as thick as the MacBook Pro's charger as well. It's really lightweight and compact weighs pretty much like a smartphone. Now, if you look at the ports here, Sanho has clearly labeled them properly with each USB-C ports supporting up to 100 watts of output. And it has two USB-A ports that supports up to quick charge 3.0 speeds at 18 watts. Now, do note that if you are charging 200 watt devices at the same time, this charger will not reach up to 200 watts because the rated maximum output of this brick is only at 100 watts. Okay, now let's check out other accessories that Sanho has provided. Now you also have um, adapters here because the charger actually has a built-in 2-pin US prong. So if you are living in other countries and use other sockets, you have these adapters to pair with it in order to use it. Now that's actually a great thing. But unfortunately, there is no extra cables included. That is something that I would like to see as well. But since I backed this for 69 US dollars, I'm definitely not going to complain about that. Now let's test out the charging efficiency of this thing and by charging a couple of devices. And I have a power meter right here that we're gonna find out what is the maximum wattage that it can go up to. So let's do it right now. Okay, so here we go. We have four devices plugged into the Hyperjuice and we have the MacBook Air, which technically goes up to 30 watts. The Pixel 4 XL at 10 watts because I'm not using USB PD. The Galaxy Note 10 Plus, at 18 watts and finally the MSI Prestige that could go up to 90 watts. Now I haven't turned on the power meter yet but we are just going to do it right now to see how well it goes up in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, everything is charging right now and we're going to change the value of the power meter and there you go. 78.5 watts doing well, 89 watts. Okay, now we have hit six minutes and do you see that it actually hit a maximum of 105 watts when charging all these four devices so what Sando is claiming here is actually true but otherwise it performs most of the time hovering between 81 to 90 watts when charging these four devices now one thing to note is that when you have two usb a devices charging together, it will not enable fast charging. If you look at the Galaxy Note 10 Plus right now, it doesn't have the fast charging text. So once I take off the cable on the Pixel 4 XL, it will stop charging and it will show fast charging. There you go. Now the same will happen as well when I unplug the MacBook S charging cable. Now let's do that when I take it up and you will realize immediately there is a dip in wattage and it will go back up because it is dedicating all that power to the MSI Prestige 14. All right, so the MSI Prestige 14 will support up to 90 watts. If it goes higher, it can definitely go higher as well, but we are looking at a really good efficiency on this charger.
After using for about 30 minutes, the heat dissipation on this thing is really great. I do not feel that it is as hot as those chargers that I've used before. This is all thanks to the gallium nitride technology that is inside this thing. So that's pretty much on the first look and quick review on the Hyperjuice USB-C charger by Senho Corporation. Do stay tuned for more videos coming right out over at KL Gadget TV. Subscribe to us and follow us on the usual social media channels. I'm Warren with KL Gadget TV and I will see you in the next one.